So we have the motor on the rack now and we're just going to, we have a jump box here. We're just going to trim the motor. So the motor can't turn back and forth. It's, it's right here. That's the first thing you need to disconnect. Um, this is a um, 16 mil bolt. And there's a big uh, nut on the side. You just have to take that off. That's, this is just for shipping, so it's nothing we need to save. Because this is where your steering cable will screw on. This has a sleeve on it. You move, remove that. This is where your steering is going to be mounted. So moving on, the first thing we want to do is we will we'll, we'll show you how to connect the uh, shift cable. So the, um, we'll go we'll go through. Maybe we should go through the box first. So box. To pull it out of the wrapper, you'll have the, a key, a dual key right here. We'll set that aside. Um, and then there's a, a pack of bolts. Uh, these bolts actually have the uh, the mount for the steering um, part. This part that was actually in the box. This is the steering mechanism. This folds on the front of the motor and then connects to the, uh, the steering rod. Actually, we'll go this way because the steering rod's going to stick out of this side. We'll, go, we'll show you that. We'll look that up. Three bolts to mount the control box. They go through these three holes right here to mount your control box to the side control. And right here, this is the cable that goes, connects to the motor. And it's gonna run through this area and then connect to this connection right here. It's pretty pretty straightforward. It's a, uh, it's a, I believe it's a 10 pin plug and it just plugs in to that part on the 40. But I'll open up the box and show you, uh, you know, what's inside and how to connect the control cables. Talk about the installation real quick. Um, we'll start with the control box. To remove the two screws, these two screws on the bottom. Okay, this little clip, this has like a little plastic clip, so just be careful not to break that little plastic clip right there. This is the um, trim, the trim wires. Um, here's where you're gonna make your connections. This is the this is the bag with all the parts that you need. Um, here are the cables here, control box cables. So they are universal cables, universal um, on both ends basically. Um, but one side typically has a longer uh, thread length. So the ones that are pushed back a little bit longer use that for the uh, for the um, for the throttle. But I guess it doesn't really matter because you can adjust these nuts will slide back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. I don't know if I'll be able to show you on the video, but so we'll take this. You need this, these two, there's two that are like this, the smaller ones for the control box. And there's like a little square piece, this little small square piece goes in the middle of the two cables inside the control box edge. And I'll see if I can show that, so we'll take those out. So here are the two little C-clips. I don't know if you can see them right there. So we'll start the cable. Um, the best way to do this is to just center the... Uh... So I'll set this about halfway, and these can be adjusted after. So you want to tighten this down. So we just do the same thing, set it about halfway. This little, right here is the, the trim wire, so you just got to be careful to keep that out of the way. Probably put the, I think we just put them up, I put this above the, the, uh, the wire, the shift cables. Um, actually, you can put one in between and one above. So it's a little groove right there. Um, where the uh, the box slides in, I mean the uh, the cable slides into the box, and then you're going to put this little block after to separate the cables, and then the other cable will go on top. But first, we need to put the C clamp to this cable right here. I'll just get a pair of needle nose. Okay, there you go. It's just a little C clamp snapped in place. You're tight there, and then we'll just add the next one. Um, we could go above the cable or below. It'd probably be best actually to go just go below the cable. Just make sure we're, uh, this is out of the way before we put the, the piece back on. 
So we'll, we'll do the next cable now. And here you can see where this one sits. It's this piece right here is supposed to sit over the top to protect that cable. Okay. You're actually supposed to grease the ends of these. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of fluid film because that's what I like to use. Um, I don't have any right now, right here, but I, that's what I would normally do. Just spray a little fluid film on there. So then now we can just attach the back just make sure that the wires are out of the way where these two screws go and uh but the other thing is on this plastic piece right here you have to make sure that this piece sits inside this grooved area right here so that holds that plastic so you got to kind of like pick that up and then just make sure you don't get your wire pushed in there i don't know if you can see what i did there it should just clip down in. It's got to have to push the cables down a little bit. So the, this one should be, the one on top should be the throttle. So the one on the outside should be the throttle. So yeah, that's forward, reverse. You can always tell the, the throttle is going to be the longer throw. So when you get to there, you're shifted already. On this, you're shifted here. So when I say th this one's going to be the throttle on this side, this one right here, and then this one's going to be connected to the shift cable on this side. And here's your wires to connect to the wire, to the, to the uh, tack. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you, now that we have the box, um, I'll show you how to connect the, uh, we might as well do the shift cables first, and then I'll show you how to connect the, um, the, the main wire and then connect this wire to the, um, the tack. Um, and then it also has an option if you if you want to power other stuff on your dash either a, there's a light uh, power and then there's just basically key power now uh, the first thing we need to do is um, right here there is a plate so this plate this is where the throttle cables will go in throttle and shift cable and this is where the the uh, the main connection to the motor goes in the 10 pin plug and sometimes there's a lot of wiring on these motors, so sometimes you got to move things around and get it to sit in there. But here's the 10 pin plug female, or the, yeah, this is the male side. The female comes in this way. So uh, we're going to go through um, this, this hole with the plug, and then we'll go through these two holes with the shift cable. Okay, so here's that plate that comes off. There's two bolts in it. Point out where it is right here you can see that on the video and there's a, a, a piece where the rubber piece where the cables go through put the cables in first we might as well put them in first and then we can uh... this plastic piece is sitting in the motor already you, you can just pull that off and the cables go in there the uh, the, sh the throttle cable goes to the outside and the shift cable goes to the inside so the one closest to the edge of the boat was the throttle cable. So we'll put that in there. So in this package um, that we have with all of the, with all the pieces in it, the throttle piece is the longer one on the 40. On the 60 horsepower, they're both, they're both the same. So it has the, uh, we'll connect it on here. It has the uh, eight mil screw. We'll do it about halfway and then tighten it. And we need to find this little metal piece. This is what's going to hold the cables in place, sliding into the groove inside the motor. So it'll sit in there. Okay, so you kind of have to put both the cables in it. This rubber block goes in front and then the metal piece I'll show you what I have right now. I have it just sitting in here like that. And I'm gonna need to set that other cable in there. I did cut my finger on that piece of metal, so be careful when you're uh, when you're putting that in there. So if you have the two tabs are up like this and it sits down in there, then you can see kind of where your shift and throttle are gonna connect right there. This is your shift cable, this is your throttle. And then I'll, these, these little rubber things kind of sit there to protect the ends. So just make sure they're tight on there. And then we're ready, I think, 
before we put the before we put this cap back on, we'll just make the connections to the shift cable. Um, the motors are shifted with this little pin already there, so all you can just pull that out. But then there's another, there's two extra pins inside the bag that come with it. So here's the other other pin. So there is the connection with the shift and the throttle. And bef before we put this this plate back on, we'll ha we'll hook up the uh, we'll hook up the power wire, the main wire, the main throttle. If it doesn't go all the way, adjust your shift if you're in between gears. Um, that's pretty easy to do. So then just feed this down into the motor and it's got to come out through that hole. So I'll show you that. It's in there now. Locked in and down. Just make sure all these wires are, they can't be sticking out of the cowling. So make sure they're pushed down in there. Put that cap back on and that should do it for the installation of the control box cables. Let's just see here. And we are connected. Cables in. Now you just have to hook your battery cables up. And your motor should turn over. This piece right here is uh, goes on when you connect your steering cable from your boat. So your steering cable will come in this side of the motor. And this is like a little rubber cap that goes on to connect the steering cable from the other side. <laughs> this is your, your steering cable rod that goes, this rod will go to the end of the steering cable and this piece goes to the motor. So this bolts on right here. And I'll connect that actually right now real quick and show you. You can actually take this clip off of here and I can show you this too. So this is the clip that's removed for your steering cable. And your steering cable is going to come out through here. And then you're going to put this cap on with a little rubber flange just to hold the grease in. That goes on there. And your steering cable is going to come through here. And you'll connect your steering rod, which I have this upside down. And you're going to connect your steering rod. You're going to connect your steering rod that comes through here and steers the motor. So then we just got to put the two little bolts on that. And they are in the package with the, uh, they're in the package with the, the bolts that bolt on the, uh, the um, control box. Okay, let's see the two, the two little lock, lock bolts. And I believe there's two washers for them too. So you put the washers on and then lock bolts. And I'll show you how to do that. So here's the tack. And there's a little manual for the tack that's in this little package here. It shows you how to hook it up. But basically, the tack just has this little plug in. It comes with it, this whip, a little short whip just plugs into the back. plugs into the back. This cap uns unscrews here, obviously, you're connecting your gauge to your boat. Then there's the ends. So basically this, these three, I'd, this goes back to the whip. These these three will go back to the, the whip, the harness on the, uh, on the uh, control box. So black to black. I'll show you how to push these on here. So once you make your connection there, you just push this over the top of the plug like that. And you push this bottom one to make the like a waterproof connection on the top. Okay, so then your gauge is connected. And so uh, basically what we have here 
this blue wire, uh, the black wire is ground, blue wire is the light. Um, these two are pickups for the, for the tack. Um, so you have two other wires coming off of this. This is going to be your light. Um, and then this is uh, key power. I think they're both actually key power. So one key power for your light. And this one is to run other stuff. So here's the tack complete. So the, the wires from the control box here, we have the control box. Here. I'm just doing a little mock up here to show you what we're doing. So it's just pretty same as simple. It's just simply plugging them in. So it's just this easy. It's green to green. Plug them in and it has the little piece on here to push on to seal out the end of it. Same thing here. Push it in and then push over the little plastic thing to seal it up. Same thing with this side, back to black. Okay, and then you're done, basically. So tack is going to be mounted to your dash. That's that's the plug and play. Um, the key is in the box. The key's right here. This goes in the ignition. Um, you connect a lanyard to this part on the box right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the little red switch. It basically is a standoff, and you clip that to yourself in case you fall out of a boat. So, we are all connected up. And this really shows you exactly what we're doing. Um, the one last thing I'll show you. So, in this bag with the spare parts are the bolts to bolt your motor to, the, to your boat. Um, most boats are going to be all have holes in them. You know, there's adjustments in different areas where you're going to bolt your motor. So here's the bolt set. So basically, this set comes with washers, and the, the style that they have for these is two bolts. So instead of a lock bolt or a lock nut, I mean two nuts, I mean. So instead of a lock nut, you just put a nut on, and then you put another nut on to hold it. And we can show you that in, in, a, in a later video. So and if you have any questions, you can contact us. Um, this really shows you, you can see it's very simple to, to, uh, to plug everything in. Um, the gauges all plug in very simply. The wire is simple. It's not complicated. Connecting the throttle and shift is not complicated. And you know, if, if there needs to be any adjustments, you can adjust any of these cables, but typically right out of the box, the motor is going to operate perfectly fine and it's going to be set up well. Thank you very much.